Canada joining a major international response today to the nerve agent attack on a former Russian spy on UK soil by kicking out Russian diplomats. The attack uh, in Salisbury using uh, uh, nerve agents uh, was absolutely horrendous and despicable. Uh, and uh, Canada made its, uh, its opinion known uh, immediately uh, in a very vigorous way, standing in solidarity with, uh, with the United Kingdom. Canada is expelling four members of Russia's diplomatic staff. In a statement, Minister of Foreign Affairs Christian Freeland says they've been identified as intelligence officers or individuals who've used their diplomatic status to undermine Canada's security or interfere in our democracy. Canada also denying applications from three other Russians. Donald Trump taking his toughest action yet against Moscow, barring 60 Russians from the U.S. and ordering the closure of the Russian consulate in Seattle. The White House says today's actions make the U.S. safer. With these steps, the U.S. and our allies and partners around the world make clear to Russia that actions have consequences. European countries also taking action after the first known offensive use of a nerve toxin in Europe since World War II. 14 member states have decided to expel Russian diplomats. Additional measures, including further expulsions within the common EU framework, are not to be excluded in the coming days and weeks. The British were the first to blame Moscow for poisoning ex-Russian spy turned double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter with a Soviet-era military-grade nerve agent. The UK already expelling 23 diplomats, a move that prompted Moscow to show the same number of British envoys the door. Today, British Prime Minister Theresa May saying Russian aggressions will not be tolerated. 18 countries have announced their intention to expel more than 100 Russian intelligence officers from their countries. This is the largest collective expulsion of Russian intelligence officers in history. Skripal and his daughter remain critically ill in hospital more than three weeks after they were found unconscious on a bench in the southern English city of Salisbury. Moscow has denied responsibility for the attack, and a Kremlin spokesperson says Russian President Vladimir Putin will make the final decision how the country will retaliate to all these expulsions. And if he can't decide, maybe a Twitter poll will help. Check this out. This is what the Russian embassy in the U.S. posted. The U.S. administration ordered the closure of the Russian consulate in Seattle. What U.S. consulate general would you close in Russia if it was up to you to decide? It's got a bunch of choices there, including the one in St. Petersburg, tens of thousands of people taking part in the poll.